This conference will now be recorded. Okay, use of control charts, how to use the control charts, we'll understand. Different types of control charts. What are the different type of control charts available in the system? We will see. Planning of control charts, how to do the planning of the control charts. Okay, what are the master data setup required all uh, for the generating the control charts, we will discuss. And finally, how to generate the control charts from the system, generation of control charts. So these are the topics we will be covering in the uh, statistical process control. Okay, statistical process control allows you to monitor, control, and improve processes. So this means the statistical process control uh, by using this functionality, you try to monitor your business process. Suppose let's say you are purchasing a raw material from a supplier. Okay, so you over a period of time you check your results. Okay, suppose let's say he is supplying a uh, material called hydrochloric acid. So you check the pH value of the hydrochloric acid. Okay, now what you will do, you let's say the 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 uh, pH value range is. Let me put it in a notepad. Okay, so let's say you are you are you are purchasing hydrochloric acid solution from the supplier. And when it is received, you want to check the, let's say, potency, assay. Okay, assay, potency. So now this potency value should be normally between 90% to 100%. The value of the potency should be from 90% to 110%. Okay. So now you are receiving this material from that vendor for a period of time. First time received. Okay. Okay, first lot. First lot, you got the value as let's say 89%. Oh, sorry, 91%. Okay, assay, potency. Assay, they call it as potency. Potency. Okay, so 91%. That means even though this is within these limits, this is a lower limit, 90% is a lower limit, and 110% is the upper limit. So here, this value is of course within the limits, 91%. Suppose let's say you over next time you received the second lot, second lot. Okay, I'll put it as lot, lot one. Okay, next time you received lot two, lot two. Okay, so next time when you received the let's say the result is. 109%. Okay. Next time when you received lot 3, lot 3, let's say the result is, let's say 92%. I'm just giving example 92%. Next time received lot 4. Okay. Now the result is, let's say 108, 107, let's say. Okay. So all these values are within the limits only. All these values are within these limits only. But if you observe, they are not consistent. They are almost touching the extremes, extreme of the limits basically. So now, if you don't, don't take any action on this, after some time, the assay may get go outside of the limits. Okay, so to, do, to avoid this, what they do is periodically they will take results of all the lots and then they will analyze the pattern. Suppose, let's say if you are getting the result all the time as, let's say, 102%, 99%, okay, 101%, 98%, then this is more or less like consistent, consistent and almost uh, in, in a consistent way. But here it is very extreme. Okay, sometimes you are getting 91, sometimes you are getting 109, the deviation is more. So, in that case, if you don't take any action or if you don't inform the vendor, after a certain time, the quality of the material may fail. That means next time, so after some time, the result may will become 89. That means it will fail. So to avoid these kind of situations, they will do this statistical process control functionality. So what they do, they take all these results 
and then they will analyze the result pattern okay so this is the the most the most important tool in statistical process control is the control chart they will they will generate a, they will create a control chart okay in the qm component you can maintain control charts for qualitative and quality quantitative characteristics you can maintain for both you make the appropriate settings in customizing also this i will show it in the system what are the master data settings what are the configuration settings we need to do let's understand okay i will show it in the system now quality control chart what is this quality control chart it is a graphical tool to help you identify the systematic variance of a quality characteristic from a target value based on unavoidable coincidental fluctuations in characteristic values so quality control chart is a graphic it's a graph okay it's it will it is a graph it is having x axis and y axis so like this you see here you you have a x axis okay here you will have your inspection lots or sorry here, here you have times uh, lot number and here your result the result okay so this is the lower limit and this is the upper limit these are called action limits okay now what they do they take the results over a period of time and then they will put it on the plot paper okay and then they will observe the pattern results pattern so like let, let's say they will take the last one one year results from that vendor or last six month results they will take and then they will put it on a control chart and then they will observe the pattern you here you see it is very uh, abnormal uh, pattern basically so normally if you get like this consistently then it's okay it's okay but here if you see the where deviation is more sometimes you may get like this also so then that is a problem so to identify that uh, fluctuation fluctuation what they do what they do basically uh, they will use this cut okay so this is x axis and this is y axis okay normally in the x axis you will have the lots and on the y axis the result then they will plot okay now how to generate this control chart from the sap system we need to understand okay uh, so this control charts can be generated for quantitative characteristics and also qualitative characteristics and we have a lot of control charts i will show it in the system in the configuration we can see a lot of control charts okay so i will show you that control charts in the system when we go to the system okay so basically the control charts are used to detect systematic deviation of a quality characteristic from a target value okay against the background of inevitable random fluctuations in individual measured values okay so here in our case the example which we took the target value even though lower limit is this one 90% upper limit is this one our target value is normally 100 Target value is hundred, hundred percent. So now, of course, even though it is hundred percent target value, allowed allowed limits are this ones. So our potency should be between this range. Okay, so that is a target. Okay, you can plan if you if you plan to manage a control chart for an inspection characteristic, you can either use a suitable master inspection characteristic. or define characteristic in the plan directly okay so first your your mic should be planned for the control chart generation okay then after that the control chart type is defined in the sampling procedure that is assigned to the inspection characteristic okay so here this is the one. the control chart types are already available in the system this control chart type you need to assign to the sampling procedure okay and then you have the spc criteria i will show you this in the system this spc criteria needs to be assigned to the characteristic in the task in the inspection plan okay so first we will we will create a new mic new mic allowed for generation of control chart okay so let's go to the system okay i am into the s4 hana system so let's create a new characteristic us21 i am creating a mic Plant one zero one zero, MIC. I will create as AC. 
असे असे कंट्रोल चार्ट असे अंडरस्कोर क्यूसी क्रिएट मास्टर इंस्पेक्शन कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक एंटर वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन अवर मास्टर डेटा सेशन हाऊ टू क्रिएट एम आय सी ओके हाऊ टू क्रिएट एम आय सी ओके सो नो हिअर इट इज अ क्वांटिटेटिव्ह वन ऍक्टिवेट चेकबॉक्स क्वांटिटेटिव्ह वन स्टेटस पुट इट रिलीज कम्प्लीट कॉपी मॉडल ओके शॉर्ट टेक्स्ट असे असे ओके सर्च फील्ड नाव गो टू कंट्रोल इंडिकेटर्स ओके आय मेंटेन लोअर लिमिट अपर लिमिट चेक टार्गेट व्हॅल्यू सॅम्पलिंग प्रोसिजर नाव द अडिशनल सेटिंग वी नीड टू डू टू जनरेट अ कंट्रोल चार्ट फॉर एम आय सी यू नीड टू ऍक्टिवेट दिस चेकबॉक्स यू सी हिअर एस पी सी कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक यू नीड टू ऍक्टिवेट दिस चेकबॉक्स दिस इज अ एक्स्ट्रा सेटिंग रिकॉर्ड इफ यू डोंट ऍक्टिवेट दिस चेकबॉक्स इन एम आय सी you will not be able to generate control chart for this mic okay so this extra setting you need to do the remaining settings normal setting summarize recording required characteristic continue this is all and all okay continue okay tolerance key that's okay now here you need to maintain the limits measurement unit is percentage my target value is 100 and i am expecting lower limit is 90% upper limit is 40 my potency okay entered continue then all the information is maintained now save it so we created a new mic so our mic is asse underscore asse underscore qc qc quality control okay so now we have created the mic next one in the sampling procedure you need to assign the control chart type so basically here we are now trying to understand we are, we are planning to generate a control chart this kind of control chart from the sap system okay how to generate this control chart in the sap system we are we are now trying to learn basically okay so we created the mic next in the sampling procedure you need to assign a, the control chart type which we, which you want to generate okay so now let's create the uh, sampling procedure qdv1 this also we discussed in our uh, master data sessions how to create a sampling procedure okay i will create 7 underscore qc okay enter okay sampling procedure sampling procedure for control charts for control charts okay now so i enter the description sampling type i will use fixed sample fixed sample valuation mode this one attribute of inspection non confirming unit okay after that you need to click on this button when you click on this button it will ask for a control chart type what type of control chart you have to you, you want to generate suppose if you click on the drop down here you have only one here you have only one this is a new system okay but normally i'll show you in a ecc system you will have a lot of control chart type this as this is a new system we don't have much control chart types let me show you in ecc okay okay so if you go there qdv1 okay let me put this control sampling procedure okay sampling type fixed sample valuation mode okay now if i click on the button continue if i click on control chart type you see you have these many control chart types available in the system okay which which control chart type needs to be used that the client will decide business will tell you okay which one they want to use they will confirm accordingly accordingly you have to assign the control chart type here okay so let me assign a this one 